morning, sweet boy. Good morning, hello, welcome to today's vlog. It's 6 a.m. right now, I just made my coffee. 5 a.m. wake up call today was not as rough as I feel like it was last week. I actually got some sleep this week, so we are starting off the morning on a good note. I got all ready and then decided to make my coffee, so I have about 20 minutes to sit and enjoy this and just have some time to myself before I head off to the studio and teach. My outfit, oh, Bentley is right underneath me. <laughs> my outfit today is all Fiori, so leggings and then I think it's like the daily bra, sports bra really cute and I'm just gonna wear my Metcons and a white crew neck over top. I don't think I'm gonna take class after I teach. I think I'm gonna come home and probably just take the 5 p.m. class today because I kind of just want to give myself some time away from the studio for a little bit. I just don't want to spend my entire morning at the studio today because I work a double tomorrow. I work seven times this week up until Sunday and then I still work Monday, Tuesday, so I work nine times this week and it's a lot. This is the most that I have ever worked, but we just have a lot of people that are out of town and need subs for this like this week and next week, so this isn't my normal, but I just know this week is going to be a little bit hectic. I finally ordered more Element too. I just saw this at my door when I opened it this morning. Raspberry salt. This is my favorite flavor. I'm going to start adding this to my water bottle again and drinking it when I work out. So I'll pop one of these in my water probably later for spin class. I'm going to put it in my water right now. These have 1,000 milligrams of salt, 2,000, 2,000, uh, coffee. I need my coffee to kick in. 200 milligrams of potassium and 60 milligrams of magnesium. I always forget that I have these little sticky trays in my car so I can like set my camera up and talk to you guys. Class went really well. There, I feel like there wasn't as many people today, but I don't know, maybe that's just like the second weekend of Coachella, but it was still a fun class. I'm debating when I'm gonna get my workout in. I'm either gonna go to the 9 a.m. cycle. It's already 8.04, so I'm gonna have like no time to go home and eat breakfast before I go to cycle. Um, or I'm gonna go to the 5 p.m. But I feel like I kind of just wanna get my workout over with earlier, so that way, I can have like the rest of the day to myself because I do work morning and night tomorrow and I don't want to have to like leave my house again later in this evening. It's also so gloomy and overcast outside. Yesterday was beautiful weather. Sorry the camera is like shaking now. Uh, and now it's gloomy and overcast and it's so sad. I feel like it's such a tease for summer. Like I literally got sunburnt two days ago and now it's gloomy and overcast and the sun is nowhere in sight. Okay, 
I'm back home now. I'm gonna throw this element packet in my water before I head to spin at nine. Okay, my goal is to drink this entire thing by the time I'm done at spin. Fresh out of the shower. It feels so good. It had to be hair washed there after that workout. I got these lights. Whoa, lighting off of Amazon. And honestly, it just gives like the nicest lighting in here. So this is what they look like on my mirror. I've had them in here for at least a month or two, maybe more. And when I'm putting on my makeup, like my lighting in here is just so yellow. This helps so much. I can like see exactly what I need to blend. And if my makeup matches, which I started to realize that it doesn't. Like now that I'm getting a little bit tanner, my makeup is like kind of yellow. So I think eventually I'm gonna need to make a trip to Sephora and get some different makeup. But I still make it work in the meantime. Oh, because we're not about wasting product here. Since I already did my skincare this morning, I did some vitamin C this morning when I first woke up. I'm just gonna do my Phyla serum and then some moisturizer. Keeping it super simple. And then the Elemis Pro Collagen Marine Cream. I actually really like this stuff. They sent it to me a little while ago, so I'm not sure how much this is in comparison to like the other moisturizer moisturizers that I've had in the past. But it is really nice. Hair routine, I feel like hasn't really changed much. I feel like I've shown you guys quite a bit. I just throw in some leave-in conditioner. I'm still using the Lucetta, Lucetta? I don't know how you say this one, but I got it off of Flip. It's their biotin and collagen leave-in conditioner, strengthening and thickening formula. There's no sulfates or parabens in it. I really like this one. I feel like my hair has been pretty healthy and I have been using my Dyson lately to blow it out. And I'll kind of show you guys what I do for my blowouts. I feel like I just really like how it looks. There's lots of volume and it just comes out really nice. So I do that and then I've also been trying to use up the rest of this Olaplex number six because I feel like I've had this forever. I'm just trying to use the rest of it honestly. I feel like that is like two more uses. I don't want to use all of that in my hair right now. Sometimes if you use too much of this stuff it can make your hair like just feel Almost like starchy, if that makes any sense. I don't know. I've had that happen to me before if I use too much of this product. So we got two more uses out of that, and then that will be done. I was looking at photos from a year ago for my birthday, and I, like, my friend sent me some photos too for my birthday last year when we went out, and I was like, I don't even, like, almost recognize myself. I was so blonde that I'm like, who is she? Like, I loved the blonde. I lived for the blonde. It was it was so fun. But looking back, I'm just like, I didn't even realize I was that blonde. I feel like they always say that too. Like when you're blonde, you feel like you're never blonde enough. But like looking back, I was like, my hair was like platinum blonde at one point, which is wild because this is how dark my roots are naturally. But honestly, I'm thriving in my basically brunette era. I wouldn't even say I'm blonde anymore. I feel like it's just a touch of like lightness on the ends and the rest of it is just all my natural color now. My hair just feels so healthy too. I don't know. I'm living for like the natural era that everyone seems to be in right now. It's it's so good. I love that we're, we're coming back to like, you know, our true selves and accepting ourselves for who we are. I am absolutely living for it. Okay, I'm gonna let my hair air dry a little bit and then we'll come back and do the blowout and I'll show you guys how I've been using my Dyson to do that. Breakfast time before spin, I had some of my favorite yogurt. I'll do this and some granola. But I have my breakfast sandwiches that I prepped for the week, which I showed in a vlog a few weeks ago. So if you guys are curious how to make these, they are in a Sunday reset video that I did. I'm gonna have one of these for breakfast finally now that it's 10 30.
here we have our little breakfast sandwich. I just pop these in the microwave and they're good for breakfast. Okay, let's dry my hair so I can have it ready for the week. I'll show you guys how I use my Dyson to style it. Okay, before I go in with my Dyson, I am going to use this spray and spray this in. I noticed this helps a ton with frizz and just like smooth styling. Don't mind me and my cord right now. <laughs> Okay, I will go in and blow dry my hair upside down to add some volume and then also get like this back part because I feel like that doesn't always dry um, as quickly. So start out with that. Now this is where we're at. Now I go in with the round brush. And I feel like the key here to keep from getting a ton of frizz is like the tension as you pull on your hair. That makes sense. I'm gonna separate it a little bit, mostly just like the top layer here, just to make it a little bit easier to style everything. And I will just throw this up on the top of my head with a clip in the meantime. I'll take a chunk and take the brush and I will like pull it and roll it this way and then on this side I'm still working on like getting better at this side but on this side I will take it like this and roll it and then when it gets to the ends I'll like hold it like this while the heat's on it so that way it holds the little like wave at the end and that's pretty much all I do so we're gonna do the rest of the head. Okay, this is where we're at so far. A little bit of a wave going on the bottom. I feel like I'm getting a little bit better at it. It's getting there. <laughs> now I'll just take the top half down and then dry the rest of it. I always try to do like my bangs or I guess like front section first since I feel like those pieces are smaller and they dry a lot faster than the rest. So I'll just take like a chunk from the front and then I will dry it up and then forward and then try to add some like wave back into it. And then I typically just like throw it to one side while I finish drying the rest of the hair over here. And then I'll like move it back when I dry the other side. So this is the final look and I'll just go through with a little bit of hair oil. So I have this hair oil from Living Proof. I honestly need to get more of it very soon, but I'll take some of this and just rub it through. Helps with a little bit more of that frizz as well. And now my hair will be good for a few days, honestly until I sweat really um, and then Lately, I've just been doing like dry shampoo and then I'll take my Dyson round brush again after I do dry shampoo and just kind of like redry it to add in some volume and add a little bit of like the wave back into it. That is how I've been styling my hair lately and I kind of love it. All right, it is 11 a.m. now and I need to get to work for the day. I'm actually going to sit and edit this video for you guys unless the other brand video that. I'm waiting on gets approved today then i will have that one up for you guys today so you guys will either be seeing this or i think a haul so 
Make sure you guys are subscribed. Thank you so much for 142,000 subscribers. You guys are amazing. I love you all so much. And let me know what other videos you guys want to see in the month of May. I will see you guys in the next vlog.